Esports was a pilot event at the 2022 Commonwealth Games, and esports is actually better than regular sports, because in the middle of an intense contest, your mum can bring up tea on a tray. <laughs> Since 2016, the introduction of video assistant referees, VAR or VAR, has meant more correct decisions in football. And as well as VAR, there's also a thing where when a decision correctly goes against you, but you can't accept it, and you go to court and lose millions of pounds, <laughs> and that's a VAR D. <laughs> OK, time for some science and technology sporting questions. All right. In 1818, William Cubitt invented the first treadmill, but it wasn't for fitness. What was the original purpose? Um, Jimmy, I've got a bit of a cramp in my, my pen finger because I've been doing quite a lot of the answers. Right. But I've brought someone along that can help with that. You're so, bringing on a sub? Yeah, can I bring on a sub, please? Yeah, sure. <laughs> bring on a sub. Right. Thank you very much. Oh, of course! Oh, Sean Wallace down. off of the chase. Yeah. Not as not as fair as it could be, is it? <laughs> He's my masseuse. Are going to win now? Well, do you know what, though? It is fitting for professional sports because there's a lot of cheating that goes on. <laughs> and we want to respect all elements of the game. OK, so, second question. It's over to astronaut Tim Peake. Hi, Jimmy. During my time on the International Space Station, I had to do all sorts of exercises to stay fit. I even ran the London Marathon whilst in space. But there have only been three sports played on the surface of the moon. What are they? Oh. Yeah, just with, he's, don't, don't let him do it. Just tell, tell him. He's so <laughs> All right, so Tim Peake, three sports played on the moon. One of them's easy, two of them are impossible. OK, Joel, Judy, write something down. I can't think of right, so. oh, I think it's something about being on our team, just so, makes you shit. So. <laughs> Portuguese footballing a superstar, Ronaldo, back in 2014, did an advert on Japanese television, I'm sure you all remember it, where he showcased an unusual fitness product. You all have one under your desks. All I want to know is, what is it? So you've all got one of these. It's a, a, a sporting fitness product. What is that used for? Is it to put it in your mouth? You have to tell me what it is. That's the... That's I'm the... asking you a question to narrow it down. I mean, yeah, sure. sure. Well, that's a no. <laughs> I, I, I like to know if before I put something in my mouth, I get a firm yes. <laughs> <laughs> this feels like a trap. <laughs> this feels like, do I put it in my mouth? And then, and then you get I want to know. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we think you put it up your bum and then it speeds you up in the swimming pool. <laughs> it does make sense. I'm so glad I put it in my mouth. <laughs> OK, here we go. Next one. Back in 2016, snooker legend Ronnie O'Sullivan tried out a virtual reality version of snooker. All I want to know is, what went wrong? Oh, no. So, in 2016, Ronnie O'Sullivan tried out a virtual reality version of snooker. All I want to know is, what went wrong? OK, I asked you what purpose the treadmill was originally created for. What did you get? Sushi bar. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> in 1881, that is sushi bar. <laughs> With a treadmill. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and what, what what have you gone for, Rasheen Dane? We said it's like it was like a punishment for like prisoners, like it's like you're having to run eternally or something like that. That is the right answer. There it is. Wow. That. Wow. That That's photograph is so good. Oh. <laughs> uh, Judy, Joel. More importantly, Sean. Did you get it? Yeah. Prison. We got it. Prison. Prison. Did you know that, Sean? Uh, I didn't actually know. I got that one. <laughs> All right, so, so points, points, no points. Uh, Tim Peake asked you what three sports have been played on the moon. What did you get? We said golf. Most boring, privileged sport. Also, there's all those holes on the moon. <laughs> yeah, so... That is lovely. Lovely. Yeah. You'd be crazy not to. And then, and then, we, and then we said uh, maybe tennis. Go golf is right. OK. OK. okay. Yeah. Tom, Kerry? We said golf. We got golf. We said patang. <laughs> Tang would be nice on that surface, wouldn't it? Boom. The, the, yeah. the French boules. Lovely little French bull game. Oh, a game of patang. Yes, Lovely please. little French lager. <laughs> and, and we also said dressage. <laughs> OK, uh, Judy, Joel. We said... More importantly, Sean. Golf. Yeah, <laughs> golf is right. And then we said, like, American football kind of thing. And then you said... And then we said long jump. Oh, oh that's a good one. one. That's good. Oh, oh but it's wrong. Oh, ah. I can tell you the three sports that have been played on the moon are golf. Everyone got golf. Yes. High jump, which sounds uh, yeah. dangerous. Well, you said long jump. Yeah, but that's what I mean. The one where they have to Jumping. jump in the. Yeah, yeah. Jumping. You've got to give it the jump. So you think long jump. jump is the same as high jump? <laughs> well, no, it's, it's the jumping, same. Isn't it? It's like jumping. Jump, high jumping. Jumping is... is not a sport. 
Yeah, if well, you don't jump put and the flip. prefix of high or long or triple before it. <laughs> all right, all right, I have, a, I, have, I have a point. And the last one, <laughs> you said American football, it was javelin. I don't know who bought a fucking javelin up there for some reason. <laughs> OK, I asked you what, what this device is. What's that used for? So, Has anyone written down anything that's even vaguely broadcastable? I said... Well, we said mouth weight. Mouth weight, I'll give you a point for. Oh, nice, no, I'll take that. Uh, does it, does it, like, do something to do with, like, take your jaw? Does what it... have you written down? We've got it, your face, jaw and mouth exercise machine. Point. Yes! And what did you guys get? Gum shield. You think it's a gum shield? Yeah. No. Or... Or a propeller. Put it up your bum, use it as a propeller. <laughs> like that. Well, it turns out the masturbation video is the second most embarrassing thing <laughs> on the internet. I really loved your commitment to that. Yeah. How does your face? Does it feel like it's helping? It feels great. My, my cheeks feel real good, then you can put it in your bum and it does your cheeks down there as well. Yeah. <laughs> well let's take a look at the advert. Here's the advert. Mm. Him, but not enough to put it in his mouth. <laughs> but what is it supposed to do? It's meant to work the muscles work. of your face somehow. Mm. So then what happens then? Does someone Jimmy? see you and smile at you mm. and then you smile back and they go, holy shit, you've been working out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what it is, is this bit has got the weights and you're not really like, when you're doing it, it's, mo it's full of shit. I'm gonna be... <laughs> <laughs> OK, so so far on this round, we've allowed Sean Wallace off of the chase to be on your team, but it's getting slightly unfair what? now. We have to send you off uh, now. Good. Your round of applause, Sean Wallace, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> OK, I asked you what went wrong when Ronnie O'Sullivan tried out VR snooker. What have you got? He lost a game and hurt someone. <laughs> OK, great, wrong. Uh, Tom, Kerry. We said, did, did he miss and get, get a cue up his bum? <laughs> Up his bum. Did he no. tear the carpet like tear cloth, like when they go through the table? Uh, no. What, what did you guys go for? You said the AI predicted the winner before the game was finished. Okay. Uh, well, let's have a look. My shot. Yeah, yeah, your shot. Yeah. What are you going for? The six. <laughs> oh, oh, <God. laughs> wow. Cute. Did we get a? Uh... No, no, no. It's just so real. You feel like oh. there's a table there. That is. Did you try and lean on a table? Yeah. <laughs> OK, it's time for a Say What You See Now. All I want to know is what science-related sporting headline are these images representing? It's a sporting headline. I got it! I haven't. <laughs> What's that second building? Is that a pub or a hotel? It's satisfying when you get it. OK, all right. All right well, let's, 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 you've had enough time on this. Yeah. Let's go. OK. Roisin, Dane, what did you get? Muhammad Ali. Yes. Moham. Yeah, so Moham, Ed, Ed Ali. Great. And then... and then we've got a bit with Sue... Her. Her. <clears throat> or oh. Sue Barker catfight. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kerry, Tom, what did you get? We put Muhammad Ali goes to space with Sue Barker. <laughs> <laughs> got it now. Go on, what do you think it is? I think well, it's Muhammad Ali stars in PC Super Fight. You're so close. It's Muhammad Ali stars in Computer Super Fight. Oh. I said computer. Judy so maybe changed it to PC. PC. Sorry. <laughs> OK, so it was Muhammad Ali and Rocky Marciano were heavyweight champions in different eras, so they filmed them fighting in different scenarios, <laughs> and a computer made a movie out of it, and Rocky Marciano won in America, Muhammad Ali won in Europe. Yeah. So, at the end of that round, the scores are, in last place, Tom and Kerry have 16. No, Judy I and Joel are second with 19. <laughs> wow, in the lead. Uh, Roisin and Dane with 26 points. VAR. Yeah. 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 Yeah.